And so we will continue now with the fertilization, which will occur after the sperm has been produced and the sperm uh, has been transferred from the male body into the female reproductive tract. Okay, and uh, meanwhile, the secondary oocyte should be waiting uh, somewhere inside the fallopian tube. Firstly, what is fertilization? Fertilization is the union of the sperm and the ovum, which are both haploid. And when the sperm and the ovum join with each other, they will be producing one single cell known as the zygote. Okay, but the zygote will be diploid to N eh, due to the combination of the sperm N and also ovum, which is also N. N plus N equals 2N. And as I have mentioned earlier, uh, this fertilization Okay, the, the union of the sperm and the ovum actually occurs inside the oviduct or the fallopian tube over here. Okay, not in the ovary. Eh? So uh, earlier, inside the ovary, we should know that there will be the graphene follicle containing the secondary oocyte. And uh, due to the ovulation uh, process, the secondary oocyte will be released from the ovary into the fallopian tube, into the oviduct over here. Okay. And if there is a sperm in the oviduct, then fertilization might occur. Okay. And uh, we need to know about the stages of fertilization. Stage one is capacitation. Stage two will be known as acrosomal reaction, the fusion of the sperm head and also the oocyte. And finally, the cortical reaction. Okay. What is capacitation? Capacitation actually occurs before fertilization even before the sperm reaches the fallopian tube. So as we can see here, hundreds of sperm swimming in the female reproductive tract from the vagina through the uterus towards the fallopian tube. Okay, And during this capacitation, the sperm will, be, uh, will become matured and the motility of the sperm will be increased in which the sperm will be able to swim better. And this process will also enhance the function of the sperm in order to allow the sperm to fertilize the egg later. Next will be the acrosomal reaction. I hope you remember that in the head of the sperm, there will be this acrosome. And inside this acrosome, there will be these hydrolytic enzymes. So, what happens when the sperm reaches the fallopian tube? At the fallopian tube, the sperm will meet with the secondary oocyte and this will happen, the acrosomal reaction in which the acrosome will release the hydrolytic enzyme and this will digest, this will hydrolyze the zona pellucida which is the jelly coat surrounding the secondary oocyte. Okay? This will allow the sperm to penetrate into the secondary oocyte. Next will be the fusion of the sperm head membrane and the oocyte in which over here you can see that the membrane of the sperm is now fusing, joining with the membrane of the secondary oocyte. And step number four will be cortical reaction. Inside the cytoplasm of the secondary oocyte, there will be many structures over here known as the cortical granules. Okay. And once one sperm, eh, when one sperm managed to penetrate into the secondary oocyte, the cortical granules will rupture. Okay, and they will release enzymes that will harden the zona pellucida. This is very important because when the zona pellucida becomes hardened, okay, becomes hard, this will block polyspermy. What is polyspermy? Polyspermy is a situation when one ovum is fertilized by more than one sperm. That is not supposed to be happening. Okay, uh, one egg, one ovum can only be fertilized by only one sperm, and so polyspermy need to be prevented, need to be blocked. When one sperm manages to enter into the secondary uh, oocyte then this cortical reaction will harden the zona pellucida and this will this will prevent other sperm from entering the the secondary oocyte okay and what happens then the secondary oocyte will complete mitosis 2 and this will be forming the ovum and so 
the nucleus of the sperm and the nucleus will with uh, the nucleus of the ovum will will fuse with each other to form the diploid zygote so the fertilization process is now completed okay what 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 will uh, what will be produced after this the zygote will then uh, convert changes into into the embryo and so we will talk about the development of the embryo in the next lesson inshallah